Izuku Midoriya is the main character in the anime and manga series My Hero Academia, and like any other main character, he possesses a vast range of abilities. Besides One for All, Izuku manifests immense amounts of skill and physical abilities not related to his quirk. Izuku's greatest asset prior to receiving his quirk was his vast knowledge of fundamental hero skills and tactics. Izuku studied pro heroes for years and is able to apply that knowledge during crisis situations in a practical manner. His immense bravery and desire to become a hero were also important factors in giving him the mentality to protect others. Before gaining his quirk from All Might, he took on the sludge villain and rescued Katsuki because of his boldness and application of heroic skills, something that deeply impressed the number one hero. Upon training with All Might, Izuku inherited the one for all from him and was granted the ability to harness a stockpile of powerful energy. He can move faster than the eye can see and take down an enormous villain bot in a single punch, but the physical backlash at the time prevented Izuku from being able to fight properly or compete with his peers on an even playing field. Even so, he possessed impressive physical durability, and his drive allowed him to withstand the drawbacks of One for All for the most part. Despite the intense drawbacks of One for All, Izuku's wits provide him with ways to use One for All that are still effective in combat. He also retains his ability to act instinctively based on his notes and possesses basic hand-to-hand -hand combat knowledge. By applying those correctly, Izuku is able to fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with even the strongest students of Class 1A, such as Katsuki and Shoto. Under the tutelage of Gran Torino, Izuku acquires more control over One for All, leading to the creation of One for All Full Cowl, a technique that would eventually become a key component of his fighting style. With Izuku gaining greatly enhanced maneuverability, strength, and a significant reduction in the physical backlash created when using his quirk uncontrollably, he was able to drastically improve his overall fighting capabilities. His newly attained abilities garnered praise from Gran Torino, who noted that Izuku was on a higher level than he was before when compared to the sports festival. This specific improvement enabled Izuku to compete more closely with his classmates in the physical aspects of the hero course, and even allows him to fight properly against top villains like the hero killer, Stain, who had single-handedly bested various pro heroes. As Izuku's mastery over his quirk improves, so do his practical skills. Also, when his skills and experience increase, so does his confidence, which is said to be a source of inspiration to his classmates as well. His body, however, still remains relatively vulnerable to One for All's drawbacks, which gives Izuku a disadvantage against enemies like Muscular or Overhaul, whose quirks were proven to be too powerful against One for All's weaker outputs, forcing scenarios where Izuku had to sacrifice his body in order to go all out. In order to protect his own body, particularly his arms, Izuku eventually developed his own unique fighting style, diverging himself further from All Might's. Currently, Izuku is acknowledged by his classmates as a strong, reliable leading figure, with both his strength and intelligence being respected equally. However, Izuku's quirk is still an enigma for them, including to Izuku himself, which makes him an unpredictable ally for better or worse. As Izuku keeps growing, so does one for all, and with the prospect of having new abilities unlocked in the future, Izuku has to work even harder in order to fully dominate the quirk that was passed to him. By the time of the Paranormal Liberation War, Izuku's skills have grown exponentially, to the point that he's able to fight alongside exceptional pro heroes such as Eraserhead, Gran Torino, and even the current number one pro hero, Endeavor. But his biggest feat so far is holding his own against the Grand Commander of the Liberation Front, Shigaraki, who is powered by All for One and a modified body with strength comparable to All Might. He's able to force the all-powerful villain on the defensive despite the latter easily overpowering the top pro heroes. Following the aftermath of the Paranormal Liberation War, Izuku has displayed greater mastery over his quirks and showcased the ability to easily outmaneuver his enemies with Black Whip and 45% of One for All. He could also detect danger without gaining sensory overload, prove N wrong by creating a new super move using Smokescreen, and easily alternate between his arsenal of quirks in his fight with Lady Nagant. In his fight against Class 1A, Izuku showed himself to be easily capable of fighting on even terms with some of UA High School's most powerful students, 
and was even shown capable of completely dominating them even when severely outnumbered before succumbing to exhaustion and stress. Trained Muscles Usage of One for All requires the user to have strong muscles, as One for All is a lot to handle and could cause the user's body to be blown apart if they don't possess the necessary bodily strength. Having been trained by All Might for 10 months in order to get his body physically ready to inherit One for All, Izuku gained a muscular physique that lets him perform at parameters higher than that of an average student outside UA Hero's course. During the quirk apprehension test, he demonstrated a grip strength of 56 kilograms and the ability to run the 50-meter dash in 7.02 seconds, which is 15.93 miles per hour or 25.64 kilometers per hour. Even after these events, Deku diligently trains his muscles every day and becomes physically stronger throughout the series. He's often seen running laps and using dumbbells or grippers to train during his free time. Deku can also be observed doing the air chair exercise during the breaks between classes. Immense Stamina Izuku has shown on many occasions that he's capable of handling large amounts of pain. Such times were mostly side effects of overusing his quirk and frequently led to various broken bones. Izuku is able to avoid those repercussions by staying in a safe range of One for All's power output, currently around 45%. Should he be forced to output more power, Izuku is still capable of fighting decently even with broken limbs thanks to the effects of adrenaline, but will succumb to exhaustion a while later. Izuku also has to be wary of his arms, which have grown damaged due to his repeated injuries and could eventually stop working altogether if he doesn't restrain himself. After multiple months of hard work and training with the number one pro hero endeavor, Izuku has become much sturdier and resilient when it comes to the drawbacks of his quirk, allowing him to withstand the recoil from 100% attacks without being instantly incapacitated. He's also shown an even greater pain threshold when he managed to endure multiple smash attacks at 100% and attacks from Tomura while still standing. Izuku is now shown to be capable of operating for days on end without eating or sleeping, going across Japan and fighting multiple villains. Even when severe sleep deprivation and physical exhaustion accumulated, Izuku still fought against powerful villains for nearly a month and made it very difficult for his former classmates to restrain him for a lengthy period of time before finally collapsing. Immense Strength Even without his quirk, Izuku has shown high levels of physical strength for a person his age. During his training with All Might, who weighs 562 pounds or 255 kilograms at his full form, he was shown to be able to lift him on his back while walking. During the sports festival, he could lift a slab of metal roughly the size of his body and wield it as an effective weapon to cleave a one-point bot in two. When using one for all, his strength further increases to superhuman levels. At 5%, he can shatter metal pillars with a single punch. At 8%, he can lift a steel I-beam one-handed. At 15%, he can lift several vehicles in the air with the aid of Black Whip. At 30%, he can lift a bus full of people one-handed and run fast enough to evade Tomura's decay and restrain the enhanced Tomura with aid from Black Whip and his anger. During the Tartarus Escapees arc, Izuku's strength increases even further and he can now use 45% as his regular output with no backlash. Using 45%, he could defeat a weakened muscular with a single punch when he was unsuccessful before, casually collapse a building when fighting his classmates, and even manage to break out of Fumikage Tokoyami's Ragnarok, shocking his friends. At 100%, Izuku's strength surpasses even the level of All Might, allowing him to commit astonishing feats. He could easily destroy a massive villain bot with a single punch, annihilate a 12-story building, create torrents of wind pressure with a flick of his fingers, and create a massive explosion with a single punch. Immense Speed Izuku possesses great reflexes with and without full cowl. He can react in time to defend from Shoto's ice, which has been shown to occur in the literal blink of an eye, and can keep up with Katsuki's movements in their first fight. When using full cowl, his reflexes and movement speed elevate to higher levels. At 5%, he can keep up with Tenya's Recipro Burst, which can move faster than the eye can see. At 8%, he proved to surpass Katsuki's own speed 
and quickly and easily overwhelmed Hitoshi in combat in spite of Hitoshi's improvements. At 20%, he can overpace overhaul, and at 30%, he can keep up with the enhanced Tomura's speed. At 45%, he was capable of keeping up with Lady Nagan's bullet and was even capable of dodging several of her shots, as well as keeping up with Muscular's movements which he could not previously follow. At 100%, his speed rises to levels rivaling or even surpassing that of All Might, which allows him to casually blitz capable villains and move several times faster than the eye can see. During his fight with Overhaul, he could completely outspeed the villain and move fast enough to create after images. He later completely overwhelmed him with an instantaneous rush of punches. When fighting against Shigaraki, he could effortlessly blitz the villain and severely damage his weakened body, despite him possessing speed rivaling that of All Might and outclassing that of Gran Torino. With his foe 100, Izuku overtook an already fired and moving sniper bullet from Lady Nagant. This allowed him to reach and push Overhaul aside even before the bullet was able to finish the last small part of the entire distance. His speed is so great, it took the combined effort of Class A just to catch up with him. Immense Durability Izuku has shown the ability to withstand explosions from Katsuki without one for all. And with 5%, he's taken building-sized explosions from Katsuki and attacks from Muscular. At 30% of his power, he's withstood blows from the enhanced Tomura, who is said to have power rivaling All Might himself. At 45%, he withstood being shot by Lady Nagant and even managed to survive a massive explosion triggered by All for One. Upon facing his classmates, Izuku was capable of withstanding several powerful attacks such as Fumikage's Ragnarok, ramming full speed into Shoto's heaven-piercing ice wall, and even withstanding a collapsed building with little to no injuries. At 100%, Izuku's durability and endurance rise to extreme levels, making him appear virtually invulnerable to physical trauma. In his fight against Shigaraki, he could withstand several attacks from the PLF leader and his own quirks backlash. In his fight against Nine, Izuku proved easily capable of completely nullifying several of the villain's attacks. However, Izuku's durability has shown to depend on the amount of injuries he sustained, with minimal injuries providing the greatest result. Keen Intellect Izuku has proven to be exceptionally intelligent on many occasions, displaying both keen observation and analysis skills, as well as adept intuition and resourcefulness. His grades are among the highest in his class, showing that his one-for-all training rarely interferes with his studies. Izuku's intelligence has probably been a more useful asset to him than one-for-all so far. Izuku is a quick learner, which has helped him figure out one-for-all's mechanisms in a short span of time and work around its limitations. While some of his moves have been directly inspired by All Might, if not outright copied, the majority of Izuku's moves and techniques were all conceived by him during sudden sparks of inspiration, proof of his creativity. Izuku also has extensive knowledge of pro heroes, his classmates, and their quirks. He takes note of them in great detail in his hero analysis for the future book. This is fruit of excellent observational skills coupled with his own desires in becoming a hero by learning from the best, meaning that Izuku always has a natural interest in expanding his knowledge further and further. Izuku is an exceptional strategist and tactician. By combining his aforementioned quick learning and knowledge about quirks, Izuku is able to devise plans that take advantage of his friend's abilities to the fullest. Izuku's calculations have been crucial at several moments of his school life, allowing him to earn victories, like in the battle trial, escape dangerous situation, like the USJ incident, and save lives, like the Vanguard Action Squad invasion and Kamino incident. In his battle with his classmates, he used his knowledge of their powers to his advantage and easily overcame a majority of them, shocking a few of them with this skill. His intelligence is greatly respected by everyone in Class 1A, as many of his peers look up to him for planning and follow his strategies to the bottom line. Even Momo, the smartest student in the class, looks up to Izuku as reference. Adaptability Thanks to his analytical abilities, Izuku is able to replicate the techniques of others. For example, after training with Gran Torino and gaining minor mastery of one for all, Izuku was able to duplicate Katsuki's moves during a training exercise. 
After training and drawing inspiration from his classmate, Tsuyu, Izuku became proficient enough with Black Whip to generate a dark tendril from his tongue, allowing him to replicate her froppy style combat. Leadership Skills As a natural consequence of his bravery and strategic mindset, Izuku has displayed incredible leadership skills on various occasions. By the start of his UA life, Izuku had already earned the trust of Uraraka and Tenya thanks to his actions in the UA entrance exam, which was enough to allow him to be voted class representative early on, relinquishing the position to Tenya shortly after. Tsuyu and Minoru Mineta also placed their faith on Izuku during the USJ incident, following his instructions with little hesitation. By the time of his first term final exam, he'd already fought alongside Katsuki and Shoto, who were previously antagonistic to him. Izuku might not be aware of this, but he's one of the main motivators within his class alongside Katsuki, thanks to a combination of his heroic drive and practical intellect. Indomitable Will Throughout the series, Izuku displayed an extraordinary level of willpower as one of his greatest traits. Following his goal to become the greatest hero, Izuku has been shown to develop great determination and willpower throughout the series. While feeble and doubtful at the beginning, Izuku steadily developed and proved his strong willpower against far more powerful menacing adversaries, people doubting and believing in him, and proved to be stronger than many of his classmates. He was the first one to move his body after All for One induced great fear into him and his classmates. Even when Sir Night Eye foresaw Izuku's death, and Ares failed rescue, he refused to give up and promised to change fate. He's constantly displayed the ability to never give up, no matter how severe the injury. Izuku constantly steeled his resolve to save and protect Eri. Even after being severely injured and feeling the drawbacks of using all for one at 20%, he still kept fighting against the villain until going all out with 100%. During the Paranormal Liberation War, Izuku displayed his resistance against Tomura's terrifying aura. While he did hallucinate his death for a moment, he quickly recovered from it and showed no fear when confronting the villain. When all hope seemed lost, Izuku decided to do everything in his disposal to stop Tomura, no matter what would happen to himself afterwards and knowingly going for the risk of forever losing his arms or worse. Even after shattering his arms and legs and horrifically injuring himself, he inspired the Tsuyu inspired Froppy style with Black Whip and desperately attempted to capture Tomura. After the Paranormal Liberation War, Yoshindo noticed the change and development of Izuku's willpower, stating that he gives off a totally different vibe. Even when Izuku went to confront All for One in the Haiburi Woods Mansion, he only showed his anger filled eyes and determination of defeating him. During the Tartarus Escape Ease arc, Izuku's will takes a large hit as he begins to succumb to the stress and trauma of the war, as well as leaving UA. He begins to overexert himself, undereat, constantly fend off villains, and shows increasingly worrying behavior. He eventually decides to leave behind All Might in order to track down the PLF. In reality, Izuku chose to do these actions to protect his friends from any more harm, not wanting more people to get hurt or killed due to his actions. This behavior is further enforced after the horrifying disfigurement of Lady Nagant right in front of his eyes, which further increases his rage towards All for One. Eventually, after being rescued by his friends, having Bakugo apologize to him for his actions, and Uraraka publicly defend him, he finally leaves behind his depressive state and steals his resolve to fight against the villains. As for his quirk, Midoriya possesses one for all. It was transferred to him from All Might, and Izuku's quirk allows him to stockpile an enormous amount of raw power, allowing him to significantly enhance all of his physical abilities to the superhuman level mentioned before. This results in unbelievable levels of strength, speed, stamina, agility, and durability. Izuku can focus the stockpiled power into a single body part or spread it across his entire body evenly, though focusing the power in a single part puts a greater strain on that part of his body. He is also able to control what percentage of his full power that he uses. He is currently able to handle 45% of his full power without breaking his bones, with 30% being his normal output. When Izuku activates one for all, red, vein-like energy lines course throughout the empowered parts of his body. 
The quirk powers of the previous holders have also merged with the core of One for All and have drastically increased in strength since. This allows Izuku the ability to access and utilize the quirks of the previous holders of One for All. He can even use more than one of these assimilated quirks at a time, granting him even more options in battle. The known quirks within One for All are the Unknown Quirk, which is the quirk of the second user. The name and abilities of this quirk have not yet been revealed, but it's been described as a particularly unique power that can't be wielded the usual way. It's also been designated as a last resort. Bajin is the quirk of the third user. This quirk allows Izuku to build up and store kinetic energy as he moves. He can later release this stored energy as an explosive burst of speed and power. Danger Sense is the quirk of the fourth user, Hikage Shinomori. This quirk allows Izuku to detect threats in the surrounding area. Due to the application of One for All, the detection causes a stabbing sensation in his head and it takes a toll on his body. Black Whip is the quirk of the fifth user, Daguro Banjo. This quirk allows Izuku to generate tendrils of black energy from his body that are good for grappling. It's useful for grabbing things from long distances as well as increasing Izuku's mobility. Smoke Screen is the quirk of the sixth user, N. This quirk allows Izuku to generate a thick cloud of smoke. The smoke can cover a very wide area and obscure people's vision. Float is the quirk of the seventh user, Nana Shimura. This quirk allows Izuku to suspend himself in midair. Izuku also has access to a subconscious realm where vestiges of the consciousnesses of the previous One for All holders dwell. These vestiges can trigger Izuku to activate One for All without any conscious input from himself, as seen when he was under the control of Hitoshi's brainwashing quirk and illusionary shadows of these echoes appeared in his vision. Izuku currently has little to no control over this aspect of One for All, being unable to freely enter or exit at will. His body is not fully materialized in this realm, which limits his movements within it, and he's only able to talk through muffled sounds since his mouth has not fully manifested there yet. However, Izuku has reached the point where he can freely communicate with the vestiges of the previous users while still conscious. Izuku is the first holder of the One for All known to have gained access to this realm while still alive. 